Emily's release has officially been confirmed in version 4.8. So, in this video, we will discuss all the materials you will need to farm for Emily, her signature polearm, as well as the best artifact sets and weapons. Emily is a 5-star Dendro character, so she requires the following amount of Nagatus Emerald Gems. Next, you need 168 pieces of Lake Light Lily, mainly found near water bodies in Irini's forest. Moving on, collect 46 pieces of Fragment of a Golden Melody, from the world boss, Legatus Golem. Next you need the following amounts of Mechanical Gear Drops for her character and Talents Ascension Materials. Emily uses Order Series Talent Books, which can be obtained from the Pale Forgotten Glory domain on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. For Talents Level 7 onwards, you need to collect 18 pieces of Silken Feather from our father, Arlecchino. And while you are busy farming all these materials, don't forget you also need 7.1 million Mora and 419 Hero Wits. Emily's signature weapon is a polearm called Lumidaus Elegy, and these are all the materials you will need to farm for its ascension. You need two types of monster materials for her weapon's ascension. First is, Nectar Drops from the Whopper Flowers and the second, hilt drops from Praetorian golems. Lastly, you will need the following amounts of goblets of pristine sea from the domain, echoes of the deep tides on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Moving on to the most interesting part of Emily's farming guide, artifacts and weapons. Emily is mainly an off-field sub-DPS character and her entire kit including the signature weapon benefits from burning reactions. So, the best artifact set for Emily is the Unfinished Reverie, followed by the Golden Troop. If you do not have aforementioned artifacts you can also use two-piece combinations of attack percent or elemental mastery. Before we move on, I would like to point out one important thing. Burning reaction damage scales on elemental mastery and character level. So, it can never crit. But Emily's ascension stat is crit damage while the main stat of signature weapon is crit rate. So, Emily is actually a hybrid character which can be played in two build types, crit build and elemental mastery build. Crit builds can use either elemental mastery sands or attack percent just like Yamiko. While for EM build just stack EM all the way. Emily's best in slot weapon is the signature polearm Lumidaus Elegy. However, depending upon build types you have different options to choose from. For EM builds, the best choice is Dragon's Bane, followed by Moonpiercer and Kidian Cross Spear. For hybrid crit builds, the following weapons could be the best choice. That wraps up our Emily pre-farming guide. What are your thoughts on Emily? Will you pull for her or skip? And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.